Claire mentioned Mary Howard, and uh, she has not only is she good on social media, but she's quite good in the traditional she media is, because yeah. when a TV crew comes to Ennis, it, mm, three times out of well, maybe two times out of four, they're likely to end up talking to um, to Mary Howard. So don't quite know how she does it, but she she does it. She's there, Perfect. so she's often um, she's often seen. And and being uh, a woman, I think is um, and we haven't talked about this at all is uh, female representation on um, on on Clare County Council. I think she is good. Uh, I referenced PJ in a complex sort of way, was a, a very effective uh, media performer. I don't think too many of them are outstanding. I wouldn't, uh, uh, I, I, I don't think they are. Um, is there any councillor, sitting councillor at the moment who I'd say, who I, if I heard on the radio, I'd say, I have to stop and listen to this. I don't think there is. And has that but that said, they're adequate for what they need to do. They don't need to be Oscar winning perf uh, performers. That's not what it's about. If they can communicate reasonably well. Remember, we should think about why are councillors elected? Mm. <laughs> They're elected to represent us on Clare County Council. They have a limited role with limited responsibilities. And one area that we might touch on is, which we haven't, is how do they interact with the executive of the council and what do they know about how the various departments of the council works? And at the moment, we're seeing in Ennis, and you referred to the differences between Clare, between um, urban Clare and rural Clare. One of the differences that's sticking out a mile in Ennis at the moment is the tension between the executive and mm. the elected representatives, or some of them, uh, in relation to the um, Ennis 240. DAC, the Designated Activity Company, isn't that what it's called? That's a, that's a <laughs> hot issue at the moment. And um, you had a story today about um, the uh, DAC not allowing um, photographs to be taken at a consultation meeting for the proposed boardwalk in the post office field. You know, these are... I, I, I do think the, the executive of the council needs to sort of get a grip on this because if if there is if there is such a tension between themselves and and the elected representatives this could become very unhealthy and um, and unwise i think i think good executives in in local authorities have been have an expertise in managing the relationship between the elected public representatives and the executive it's a skill and it shouldn't be forgotten about.